Hello, my name is Hannah Park and I go to Tenfly High School in Tenfly, New Jersey. I'm a 2022 STS Regeneron finalist and my project looked into the thymus development in a mouse model of Down syndrome. So the thymus is an organ located around here and to explain its function, let's say there's an immature T cell from the bone marrow, then it would go into the thymus. And within the thymus, there's multiple checkpoints. And if the immature T cell from the bone marrow was able to successfully pass all these checkpoints, it exits the thymus as a fully developed and functional T cell that the body can use for T cell purposes. And I looked into thymus specifically because it's already known that in Down syndrome patients, they experience deficient immune system functions. And with the thymus being such a important organ in the immune system, I thought it was important to look into it. And how did I compare those two? I used one population of mice that were normal mice called just wall type. And the other one was Team M131 knockout mouse model of Down syndrome. So basically what that means is in Down syndrome human patients, there is a gene called TMEM131 and that gene acts abnormally. But when you type that TMEM131 into, let's say Google, not much really comes up that explains its specific roles um, in Down syndrome or in just a human body itself. Uh, basically, it, we need to know what that gene does because it's obviously acting abnormally in Down syndrome. So I looked into that by using these two populations, one the knockout, one the control group, and basically I compared the thymesis of both. And when I compared those, I found differences in cellularity and cell count and the different numbers of the T cells between the two. And what all these differences basically imply is A, the TMM131 gene is crucial for normal thymus development because without it, in the knockout scenario, we saw uh, multiple differences. Um, and two, we, it implies that TMM131 is needed um, or it, it can play a role in this deficient immune system that we see in Down syndrome patients. So outside of the lab, I am really, really into Thai food. Um, I've always liked exploring with food, but I'm a avid, avid Thai food eater. Um, I own two cats. One of them's name is Jung, which means chubby in Korean. He was chubby when he was little, so we named it that. And the other one's name is Yoda. Uh, three, I am an awful baker. Not sure why. My mom is pretty good at cooking, but I, don't, I never got those genetics, I guess. Um, four, I'm very clumsy. Uh, this was actually something I had to get over when starting uh, research, but I, outside of the lab, I'm very clumsy. I drop things, I lose things. It's kind of chaotic. And five, I play the violin, but I really enjoy um, trying new music genres. Currently into classical guitar, but I you can always catch me on Spotify listening to random playlists trying to find a new genre that I'm into. So that was a little bit about me. I'm so stoked to be a part of 2022 STS Regeneron, and I'm just beyond excited and grateful to be a part of this experience.